Harry and Meghan make Griffin's appearance as hardworking Instagram frauds earning Netflix money for unknown what. Months after South Park mocked them, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have once again found themselves on the receiving end of satire, this time from Seth MacFarlane's Griffin's. In one of the episodes of the new satirical animated series, which aired on Sunday, the main character Peter Griffin compares himself to the royal couple, who in 2020 left their roles as active members of the British royal family and moved to the USA. Sitting in a bar with his friends, contemplating how to reclaim his due money, Peter Griffin states that, like the Sussexes, he will go solo. Then the royal couple appears on screen, lounging by the pool in swimsuits, with the butler awaiting the moment to hand them their millions from Netflix. This satirical depiction of the Sussexes in Seth MacFarlane's animated series follows previous South Park criticism earlier this year, which mocked their calls for greater privacy in their personal lives. In the new spoof, Harry and Meghan are seen enjoying poolside drinks and a butler looking like a typical Brit hands them a paycheck. He says to the Duke, Sir, your millions from Netflix for who knows what. A caricatured Harry responds nonchalantly, just add them to the others, in a British accent reminiscent of Dick Van Dyke's Cockney accent in Mary Poppins. As the butler departs, Megan receives a notification on her phone. She tells Harry, darling, it's time to make a daily sponsored Instagram post for $250,000 from Del Taco. A disheartened Harry, gazing into the distance, retorts, shouldn't have given up that made-up nonsense in an obvious nod to the British monarchy. The couple faced furious criticism for their supposed reluctance to work, especially after Spotify's head of podcast innovations and monetization, Bill Simmons, labeled them as frauds. In his own podcast, Simmons declared, frauds, that's the podcast we should have started with them. I should get drunk one day and tell the story of how Harry and I tried to help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories. These comments came after Spotify and Artwell Audio, the company producing audio content for the Sussexes, issued a joint statement, saying they had come to mutual agreement and are proud of the series we created together, following the closure of Megan's Archetypes podcast after just one episode. Reports had suggested that the royal couple had signed a $20 million deal with Spotify. However, in this satirical clip, they refer to an $80 million agreement they signed with streaming giant Netflix in 2020. After signing the contract, the spouses released their explosive six-episode series, Harry and Meghan, which aired in December last year. Rewrite the article in your own words without shortening the text. Make it as long as possible. They have also appeared as announcers on Live to Lead, a series about the lives and careers of leaders. In August, their third project, Invictus Heart, appeared on the streaming platform in which they talk about their participation in the 2022 Invictus Games in The Hague, Netherlands. Although the satirical Griffin's clip features Megan posting sponsored content on Instagram, the couple is known not to make money from such endeavors. The clip comes months after another satirical cartoon, South Park, mocked the Sussexes for their calls for more privacy in their personal lives, which the show's creators deemed hypocritical. In one episode, the couple arrive in Canada after leaving the UK and loudly demand privacy, drawing attention to themselves. In the clip, Harry and his spouse, wearing the same dusty pink outfit that Meghan wore at the 2018 Trooping the Color ceremony and an almost identical white hat, are promoting Prince Wa's book, the cover of which looks a lot like Harry's memoir Spare. During the TV show, when asked about their motives, they leave the house and move to South Park. The princess says, if we moved here, people might think we really wanted to be normal. But their arrival upsets the locals, particularly Kyle, who lives across the street from them. He complains about their private jet parked in front of his house and the prince playing polo on the lawn. They have a huge airplane parked in front of my house, and they're always demanding that I buy their book, he complains to his friends Kenny, Cartman, and Stan. The Sussexes are subjected to numerous thinly-veiled attacks in this episode, mostly questioning their desire for privacy while simultaneously drawing attention to themselves. In one scene, regular character Kyle wakes up to find that his house is hung with magazine covers featuring the princess's face. Among them is one that looks a lot like the cover of the cut magazine, 
which featured an interview with Meghan last summer. As Kyle addresses the couple, the princess exclaims, He's making a target out of me. The prince stands up for his wife and shouts, This is outrageous. Let's see how he handles my blue pea. Apparently, the references to the frostbitten pea. Harry, which he described in his memoir, Spare. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.